Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. Just a quick one today, but I wanted to share with you a little warm up slash control exercise I like to do before a gig. And uh, it's just one of those little exercises that, you know, if I've got a practice pad with me and I've got a little bit of time in the band room or on the stage before I have to go and perform, it's just a, a, a simple little warm up exercise that kind of gets my hands warmed up and it gets me in the zone sort of physically and mentally, if that makes any sense. So the exercise is a simple two bar exercise. I'm playing it as 16th notes and it's a two bar exercise because it's what I call a symmetrical exercise where the first bar starts with the right hand and then the second bar starts or leads with the left hand. The sticking is really simple. It's basically a single stroke roll except for the last two sixteenth notes of the bar, which is a double. Uh, and then that causes the second bar to start with the left hand. And then I just repeat that process. So let me just play this for you slowly. Now I've put an accent at the front of each bar. So the very first sixteenth note of each bar has an accent. I'll go into that in some detail in a second, but the sticking is this one, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left. Now you can hear it's got an accent on it. And so the way I like to approach this accent is to play that accent as a downstroke, which means I'm playing the accent and I'm not allowing the stick or the rebound of that stick to rebound too high so that I can play my non accents at a much lower height. Now I play those non-accents at about four, four centimeters, five centimeters. Generally, I try to play those non-accents at a height that's similar to that of my ghost strokes when I'm playing grooves. So generally I play ghost strokes in grooves, so I would like my warm up to reflect that. So that's why I'm aiming for that height. I'm gonna play this at 120 beats per minute, which is the tempo that you heard me play at the start of the video. Generally speaking, I have my phone with me, which has a metronome app in it, and I like to use the Polynome app. So check that out, that's a really great app, but any metronome app is gonna do. And uh, I play this at about 120 just to start with. So this is 120 beats per minute. If you're feeling adventurous and your hands are feeling good after a little while, you can bump up the tempo. So I'll try this next tempo, let's say 140. And I kind of do that I gets to the point where after a couple of minutes of that, if it's going well, I can kind of zone out a little bit. I don't have to be so focused with it, but it's just really great to get the hands moving. And you know, like with any warm ups, it's really important that you stay relaxed and stay loose throughout that process. Now, the other thing you can do is let's say you're warming up for a jazz gig and you're mostly going to be playing triplet based grooves or swing or whatever, then you can do the same thing, but with triplets. So again, it's the same thing. You're going to start a single stroke roll with the right hand. If you're right handed, the last two notes of the triplets will be a double. And then the second bar will start with the opposite hand. Let me play this for you at 1.30. Here's the same thing again at 150. So they're pretty simple warm up exercises, but like I said, they're great to just get you loose and 
in the zone before a gig. And as I said before, just make sure you stay relaxed. So that's really it for this week's video. It's a simple exercise, um, very easy to remember. Hopefully you can use it before your gig and uh, let me know how you get along with it. Okay, have a great week everybody. Have a great weekend and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.